In this video, we're going to see how can we calculate the force vector in Cartesian vector form if we have the line of action defined by two points. So the concept is relatively simple. So what I want to do in this video is show you the concept, but I'll also show you a problem. All right, so the, the topic is uh, forces along the line. And this is useful to define forces when we have, uh, let's say, two, two points like cables that are uh, supporting a weight or, or cables in a cable separation, things like that. So if we have two, um, if we have uh, two points defining The, uh, the the line of action of the force. And the concept is, is very simple. The idea is that we can define that vector of the force if we have the magnitude of the force, right? Have the magnitude, it, perhaps that's given and uh, uh, in the problem and, and if we can calculate that unit vector that describes the direction of the force that's that's all so if we are able to define that unit vector with those two points and we have the magnitude of that force then we can express that force in Cartesian vector form so let's look at an example that's probably the best way to explain this So let's say that we have, I'm gonna have here something in two dimensions for this example. X and Y. Let's say that I have a point here at three meters. And I have another point here at four meters. Let's call this point A. Let's call this point over here, point B. And the idea is, let's say that there is a cable connect connecting these two, and the cable has no sag, that's, that's a big assumption right there. And we're interested in defining the, the, the vector that is applied at that point A. So it's, it's gonna be a vector defining by that force. Let's call this is our F. So the other things that we know um, is that the magnitude of F, let's say that the magnitude of the force is equal to a hundred kilonewtons. Okay, that is a hundred kilonewtons. Okay, very good. All right, so in a previous video, we saw how do we calculate a unit vector from A to B, and that's exactly what we need to do, right? So I'm gonna do the whole process. You might be able to shorten some of this if you know how to calculate the position vector AB from the information given in the graph. And I'm gonna do it step by step. So the first step is we wanna calculate the position vectors RA and RB. That's the first step. Uh, based on the graph that we see there, we see that RA is going to be four units in the X direction. It has nothing in the Y direction. So that RA is going to be equal to four I
and the units will be in meters that RB is going to be three units in the Y direction so we will be three J units of meter as well now with this we can calculate the position vector AD that will be in the, our next step So to do that, we have that R, that will be our AB, right? From A to B, our AB will be equal to RB minus RA. And that will be equal to RB is 3J minus 4I, and this will be in meters. Now do that. The order in which I put those unit vectors or, or those uh, components of that vector is not really important. Um, you know, you can put J and I, even though most frequently you're gonna see it in terms of first the I and then the J, but doesn't doesn't really matter. That's why we have those unit vectors to indicate the direction. All right, now what we need to do is we need to calculate the, the unit vector. U A B That's the next step. And for that, what we need to find first is the magnitude of that R A B, right? Magnitude. The magnitude of R A B is the square root of three square plus four square. And that should give me five meters. So that uni vector AB will be equal to, I'm going to put the I first, minus four fifths of I plus three fifths of J. And in this case, this vector has no units, right? This vector has no units. If you want to Look at it in terms of decimal points. That will be the same thing as uh, minus 0 0.8 i plus 0 0.6 j. Okay. No units because it is a unit vector. All right, so we have this unit vector that is defining the position of b relative to a. Or not the position, sorry. It's defining the, the, that direction from a to b, right? So the next step is to be able to calculate that force vector. So for that, the only thing I need to do is to be able to say, so this is calculate the force vector. And for that force vector we're gonna have is and the vector f is the unit vector, right, times the magnitude of f. So in our case, f is 100, and uab, which is equal to 100 um, times 0.8 i, that's negative, and this plus 0 0.6 100 j and now this will be in kilonewtons because the 100 is in kilonewtons so that gives me minus 80 i plus 60 j kilonewtons and that will be my final answer
So to calculate a vector in Cartesian a vector form, uh, if you have two points defining the direction, basically the first thing you need to do is to calculate a unit vector defining that direction, and then multiply that unit vector times the magnitude of the force that is given.